Hey what is going on everybody welcome to the 20th selenium web driver tutorial again my name is abhilash and in this tutorial we will see how we can verify a text or you can say a string that is uh, present on a web page using some of the methods in selenium web driver so basically in the previous tutorial we have seen how we can uh, log in into our login page and uh, provide the required username and password combination and click on the login button so let's just quickly execute this and as you can see we have a browser that has opened and it has quickly uh, entered the username and password combination that we have provided in the selenium web driver script and clicked on login option or uh, you can say a login button and uh, this is a text that is uh, displayed after clicking on the login button and since the uh, required uh, username and password uh, combinations are correct so uh, we are getting the text as logged in so basically in this tutorial we are going to verify whether this particular text is uh, really uh, matching with the script so basically the expected string we will provide in the script and this is the actual string that we are going to match okay so basically you guys can use this uh, particular uh, method of uh, comparing the two strings that is uh, expected will be the string that you provide in your uh, script that is a selenium web driver java program and the actual value will come from the web page so before going to this uh, method uh, there's one more method that uh, I am going to show you all as to how we can wait for a particular element so basically as you can see in this uh, execution we have seen that uh, the execution is very fast so basically the speed of execution uh, that is entering the username and password is so fast that uh, sometimes uh, it happens that uh, while executing a particular statement in this Java program the control goes to the next statement without actually completing the previous statement so in such case we have uh, something called as uh, implicit wait so in selenium web driver we have uh, something called as implicit wait which will wait for a particular element to be located on a web page so it can be used after the declaration of our web driver so as you can see this is the statement where we are declaring our web driver so we can quickly uh, add one statement over here saying driver dot it has a sequence of uh, methods that uh, we are supposed to use so basically we have something called as driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicit wait so basically uh, as you can see we have the sequence of methods saying uh, driver dot manage dot timeouts dot implicitly wait so basically this is the implicit wait that uh, we are going to apply so basically uh, whenever we specify this uh, particular method or whenever we declare or assign or you can say whenever we can we apply this method we basically what it does is uh, it will wait for some time period that we are going to specify in these two arguments before going to the next statement so basically it will find the element it will wait for the uh, element to be visible for that particular time period so let's quickly set this so the first parameter that it takes is uh, the time that is it can be seconds or minutes or anything it can be asked to so the second parameter is uh, what type of uh, unit you are taking so basically time unit so if you uh, type time and uh, press the combination of control and space keys on your keyboard you will get a list actually uh, the first uh, class that we have that is time unit we are going to use that and if you press dot we have uh, the different units of time so basically uh, we are going to deal with the uh, seconds in this case so as you can see we have other things such as minutes milliseconds microseconds and accordingly we will have to specify the time over here in the first parameter so since we are going to use in seconds we have a timer of 10 seconds so basically what this is going to do is uh, it will wait for the maximum limit of uh, 10 seconds 
until and unless uh, there is a web element that uh, we are going to find so basically throughout our script it will wait for a uh, 10 seconds and then even if in 10 seconds the uh, the web element is not visible or for some reasons it is not able to find the web element that we have defined over here using the different locators in selenium web driver then it will throw the exception so basically the maximum time limit to wait for a particular web element is 10 seconds in this case and it is quite useful in order to wait for some of the web elements which uh, takes time while the page is getting loaded so some of the elements takes time to be visible on the web page and hence for this reason we use this implicit wait uh, which will be applied throughout our script for all the web elements that we are going to find okay, so we'll end it with the semicolon so again if you execute this As you can see uh, there is no change but then if uh, for some reason it was not able to find or sometimes if the page loading takes time uh, what it does is it will wait for a maximum of 10 seconds before finding the next web page element. So this is the way uh, the implicit wait works in selenium web driver. Let's quickly uh, get the data from the web page since we are running out of time let's quickly do this okay we'll right click and inspect element or you can always use firebug okay so what exactly we want is the text from this particular element so as you can see we have something called as id equals result we can quickly copy this and since it is a uh, string data what we can do is a string uh, data equals driver dot find element again so this is a kind of a revision for you guys nothing new over here so we are going to find the element by id equals this thing that uh, we have copied okay so this will just find the id and now we have a method called as uh, get text so basically this is going to get the text in that particular element that we have found uh, using the ID or any other locating methods that is supported by selenium web driver so basically we have this get text method which will get the text of uh, this particular element and store it in a string data type so basically uh, this string and then this is the variable name in which we are storing the text of the uh, web element whose ID is a result so basically in this way we get the text of any particular web page element and we can always uh, print this that is dot out dot print ln you can always use print or print ln so the difference is uh, in print it will uh, not go to the next line uh, for the if, if you are going to print uh, the next line it will print in the next line for print ln but then if you use print then it will continue its uh, execution and print on the same line so basically what we are going to print over here is data in a particular format so let's okay so this is the way we can include some more strings that is in double quotes and then plus which is concatenation and then the data that is the variable name so let's quickly execute it what it will exactly do is it will get the text from the web page element whose id is uh, result and print it on the console in this particular format that is result equals uh, the data okay so let's uh, quickly execute this so as you can see it has completed the execution and if we go to the console as you can see result equals log 10 so this is the way we can uh, quickly get the text from the web page and that's it in this tutorial we'll uh, check in the next tutorial how we can compare this particular string with the expected data that we will be providing in our uh, script so that's it in this tutorial we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial have a nice one